I'm not a member of the Galactic Federation. I came here because I intercepted the distress call. I'm a bounty hunter. And I know that something is after you. Please, you must believe me. Thank you. I'm Samus Aaron. What's your name? Madeline Bergman. Behind closed doors, the Galactic Federation was trying to create a special forces unit composed of bioweapons. In order to make it happen, they were attempting to create an organization modeled after the Space Pirates, with the Zabesians at the center. But because of a certain presence, the life forms became ferocious. We were no longer able to control them. By a certain presence, she must have meant Ridley. So you sent out the distress signal? Even though it endangered your life? I had to. I felt there was a real danger here, that if left as is, the Zabesians would continue to evolve and resurrect as real space pirates. If that danger was real, then the risk of withholding information to protect herself was too great, clearly. And yet, wasn't she the one who set the facility's system to self-destruct? In silence, I praised her courage and sense of responsibility. At the same time, her argument had some holes. Say that the Zabesians, under Ridley's influence, became super aggressive. Would that really lead to the resurrection of the space pirates? Without a malicious force to lead them down that path, wouldn't they continue to merely follow their instincts, ultimately becoming no more than a swarm of feral creatures? Regardless, it was clear that the Galactic Federation was ready to consign their enormous mistake to oblivion. And that's why they sent a deleter. And as for Madeline and others who knew the secret? But wait. There was another inconsistency in her story. Why go to such lengths at all? With just a small flexing of the Galactic Federation's military force, they should have been able to destroy a facility of this scope with ease. So why didn't they? Actually... There was an even more dangerous plan. Come with me. It's not possible. The Metroids were terminated along with Zebes. Yes. 
and the last of them, a baby, met its end above my head. You're Samus Aran, right? The one who annihilated the space pirates? Metroid remnants were attached to your suit when you returned from Zebus. They were reproduced from a piece of cell structure salvaged by the Federation, and they are in this facility. I gave your suit a polish so you'd be at least somewhat protected. And Wrigley in the same way. At first, no one thought that the creature was Ridley. They didn't think it had potential as a bioweapon at all. They raised it like a pet, calling it Little Birdie. Until one day, it attacked one of the researchers and got away. Ridley had played dead and lured the scientist into his cage. What was left? It was a horrible sight. But in order to control Metroids, you need Mother Brain's telepathy. You don't. You didn't recreate a Mother Brain clone, did you? It's artificial intelligence. We developed an AI program that would reproduce Mother Brain thought processes. We called it MB. But it was just a program. It wasn't the mother herself. MB evolved as it communicated with the Metroids. It appears as though it began to become self-aware, much like the original mother brain. It's really quite remarkable. That's when it became clear to me just why Madeline was so afraid of the space pirate's resurrection. It wasn't that her story had holes in it. Through the holes were glimpses of the danger that was right before her eyes. If everything she said was true... Where are the Metroids and MB? They're in an area called Sector Zero. It's a unit that doesn't appear in any of our map data. It's a place like Torian, where we propagate and raise Metroids. I began to see what the worst case scenario would look like. The ultimate weapon, the Metroid, would be mass produced. And as soon as an AI that could control them was developed, the plan to create a special forces unit modeled after the space pirates was replaced. But as the AI called MB spun out of control, the facility became a place much like the planet Zebes. If the situation were left alone, Galactic society would be put in peril. Even the ringleaders of the operation wanted to avoid that, but they still wanted the Metroids. And that's why. They decided to capture the Metroids contained in Sector Zero and delete the rest of the facility, including the space pirates, Ridley, and everyone who knew the secret. But before the ringleaders could act, Adam appeared. Adam might have known or suspected the truth about the facility from the beginning. Regardless, since the ringleaders were members of the Galactic Federation, they could no longer act recklessly. And so a deleter was installed as a member of Adam's team to destroy evidence and plan each subsequent move. But having me added on as a member must have disrupted the Galactic Federation's plans. Madeline, thanks for telling me all this. I've got to destroy the Metroids and MB in Sector Zero. You have to remain hidden. Don't worry. The Galactic Federation CO who's here now will help you. You're safe. Does that CO happen to be... Commander Adam Malkovich?
The real leader of this operation is Commander Malkovich. I can't believe that he's here. Stay here until I return.